In this recording, we will look at using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations, that is equations that can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And the quadratic formula tells us that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And this formula is useful because it will also identify cases where a quadratic equation has no real solutions. So let's have a look at a couple of examples of using this formula. First, solving x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. And you'll see this is in the correct form. This can be thought of as 1x squared plus negative 2 lots of x plus negative 5 equals 0. That is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We can see that in this case a equals 1, b equals negative 2 and c equals negative 5. And substituting that into our quadratic formula gives x equal to negative b, so that will be the negative of negative 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5. And that will all be divided by 2a, which is 2 times 1. So this will simplify to give 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is just 4, minus 4 times 1 times negative 5, that's plus 20, all divided by 2. Which simplifies further to give x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 24 divided by 2. Now the square root of 24, that is irrational, so that would have an infinite number of decimal places. So often we would leave the answer in exact form, but we could write that just a little bit more simply, because 4, which is a perfect square, is a factor of 24. So therefore the square root of 24 is the square root of 4 times 6 divided by 2. In turn, the square root of 4 is just 2, so that's 2 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 6 divided by 2, which will simplify down further, giving us 1 plus or minus the square root of 6 as the final answer. That is, we are saying that x equals 1 plus the square root of 6, or 1 minus the square root of 6. And if you were working out approximate answers, then you could also evaluate that to a certain number of decimal places. But this would be our exact answers. And notice here that there are two real distinct solutions to the quadratic equation. And that is because of the expression under the square root sign, b squared minus 4ac because that gave a positive number, there were two distinct real solutions. And this b squared minus 4ac is sometimes called the discriminant delta. And so notice that here that was greater than zero, which in fact always will give this situation for a quadratic of two real distinct solutions. So let's apply the quadratic formula to a second example solving x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals x plus 3. And once again, we need to start by rewriting this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That is, we have x plus 3 on the right hand side, so we should subtract this from both sides of the equation so that the right hand side is equal to 0 that is subtracting that from both sides, 
will give us x squared plus 7x plus 12 minus x plus 3 equal to x plus 3 minus x plus 3. And then that will give x squared plus 7x plus 12 minus x minus 3 equal to 0 on the right as required. And that simplifies to give x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. So once again, this is now in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where here, a is again the coefficient of x squared, so that is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is 6 and c is the constant term, 9. So therefore, x will be equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 divided by 2 times 1. And simplifying that, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 36 divided by 2. So this will then just become negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 0 divided by 2. And the square root of 0 is just 0. So negative 6 plus or minus 0 just gives negative 6 divided by 2. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3. So this is what is called a repeated real solution to the quadratic equation. And you'll notice that this occurred because of the fact that the expression under the square root sign, that is the b squared minus 4ac, in this case was equal to 0. That is the discriminant delta equals b squared minus 4ac equals 0. So when that occurs for a quadratic, it means we have a repeated real solution to the quadratic equation. Let's look at one final example of solving a quadratic. In this case, we are solving 2x squared plus 1x plus 1 equals 0. So here, that is in the correct form to apply the quadratic formula with a equals 2, b equals 1, and c equals 1. So substituting into the quadratic formula will give x equal to negative 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared, minus 4 times 2 times 1, divided by 2 times 2. And that will give us x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 8, which is the square root of negative 7 divided by 4. But there is no real number that is the square root of a negative number. So therefore we can go no further. If we're looking for real solutions, this quadratic in fact has no real solutions. And this occurred because the expression under the square root sign, b squared minus 4ac, was less than 0. So whenever b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, a quadratic will have no real solutions.